Yes boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team player review slash is this player worth it type video. As you can see, today they have gone ahead and dropped this Donny van der Beek. Looks like an incredible card. But yeah, if you haven't checked the videos out from the previous days I have been uploading, I did upload a pack opening. I did actually manage to pack a massive Eredivisie player, so do go down on my channel and check the recent pack opening that I did do. It's not my last video, but the one before, and I did end up packing myself a massive Eredivisie player from a two-player pack. So make sure you do check that out if you haven't seen it. And also, I've made videos on pretty much all of these cards that are currently out. They have released a foot swap card today as well i probably won't make a video on that they're fairly simple to complete you can just check footbin anyway um i also made a video on that mertens the Serie A team is using guarantee lewis muriel and then of course godin and ramos have made videos on both of them and alexandro so yeah if they are something you want to see make sure you do go ahead check them out but without further ado we will get into this video on donny van der beek he's a very very good card we'll take a look at overall how much it will cost and take a look at the card itself and feel see whether he will be good in enough for you and whether he is worth it drop a comment down below um whether you do think this SBC is worth it whether you are going to complete it i'm very interested to hear all your thoughts make sure you do follow me on instagram as well it is mccartney yt same spelt the same way as my youtube channel of course but just with a YT at the end. Uh, make sure you do follow me over there. I did just hit 3,000 followers on there, which is much appreciated. I thank you all so much. Everyone that comes over from Instagram to watch the videos as well, thank you all so much. We are growing rapidly. We're trying to get to 2.5K. If we, if you can help me get there, that'll be much appreciated. But yeah, make sure you do subscribe if you are new. Drop a like on the video. But without further ado, we will take a look at this card and see whether he is worth it. But starting off, of course, he's got an overall amazing card. He's almost in the Hullet Gang apart from the defending of course which is obviously a great thing to have for a Dutch player to be in the Hullet gang that's very very rare obviously you've got Hullet himself but it's rare that you do get um, like back in the day in FIFA it was rare that you would get a player from like Ajax from the Dutch league that's got almost in the Hullet club so that's just amazing that his card's almost there but He's got 88 physicality base on the card with 82 jumping, 96 stamina, 88 strength and 79 aggression. So of course, jumping 82, very good. Six foot player, so you do you will be expecting him to win quite a lot of headers. I feel like this guy is more suited at centre mid or CDM than actual centre attacking mid in my opinion simply because 80 pace for a cam for me that isn't quick enough and I just personally think with those defensive stats and passing stats it suits him more as centre mid and CDM but that's just my opinion let me know in the comment section as well where are you going to play this card if you are going to complete it I've, I'm expecting this SBC to be fairly cheap I'm going to say around like the 150k mark that'll be worth it in my opinion anything over like 200k I'll probably say isn't worth it but we will take a look at the price and stuff shortly um, but he's got 96 stamina again a very very important stat to have if you are starting this card I'm pretty sure a lot of you if you don't have a Dutch team or you don't have a team like obviously in the Dutch league I doubt you're going to be starting this guy you're probably going to have him as a super sub to come on late on in games just to close the game out and I feel like this car genuinely is perfect for that matter but 96 stamina obviously you're going to have zero issues with that he's pretty much going to be running all game non-stop which is so so important to have for his CDM and he's going to bring that and then he's got 88 strength and 70 on aggression so obviously very strong player six foot so he's going to be very good on the ball that type of player but yeah into defensive stats he's got 78 base defending on the card which is his actual lowest stat so arguably you don't want to play him cdm i know i said do play him there 78 obviously is still good but his natural position isn't a cdm so keep that in mind but he can definitely play there but he's got 92 interceptions 75 heading accuracy 76 marking 75 stand tackles 66 sliding so overall he's got 78 defending on the card his defensive stats aren't amazing i'm not going to big it up like it is because it really isn't the 92 interceptions though very very good start obviously the slide tackle brings it down and the stand tackle which are quite important stats for us for a player to play cdm as well so keep that in mind when you are completing him but he's got 88 base dribbling on the card with 83 agility 68 balance 89 reactions 91 ball control 89 dribbling and 92 composure so overall of course 83 agility he isn't a dead agile player he is six foot as well so i'd expect him to feel a little bit clunky on the ball he ain't going to feel amazing and obviously 68 balance is quite low keep that in mind so it is he isn't going to be great in that aspect but 
it isn't too much of a letdown in my opinion. But he's got 89 reactions, 91 ball control, 89 dribbling, 92 composure. So obviously his ball control and composure, very, very high, which is very important on a CDM or a centre mid or wherever you want to play him. It's a very important stat to have that he can bring the ball down, control it and play the pass, obviously. As you can see, he's a very good passer of the ball. So overall, this card in the midfield does look like he's going to be a bit of a boss. Um, but into the passing stats, he's got 89 base on the card with 80 cro with 92 vision, 80 crossing, 74 free kick accuracy, 93 short pass, 89 long pass, and 79 curve. So obviously the 92 vision, incredible. He's going to be able to pick out passes from pretty much across the pitch, which is so good to have, of course. It is a 90 rated team this season in the midfield, so you kind of would expect that. But then he's got 93 short pass, 89 long pass. Again, overall, very, very good. Um, into the shooting stats, got 91 shooting on the card with 92 attack positioning, 87 finishing, 95 shot power, 97 long shots, 92 volleys, and then he's got quite low penalties, but that's pretty irrelevant. But obviously, 91 shooting, his shooting stats are incredible for a cam. They really do look amazing. You could potentially play this guy up front if you really wanted to, because he's quite a big figure, obviously. So he'll win a lot in the air, and he can bury chances for fun, as you can see with the finishing, the shot power, his long shots, his volleys. Everything about the card going forward is outstanding. But then into the pace stats, of course, this is what does let him down a little bit. He's got 80 base on the card with 81 acceleration and 80 sprint speed. So that is fairly low for a cam, I'm not going to lie. This would put me off playing him so attacking simply because of the pace. If he was a bit quicker, 85, 86, 87, I'd look at playing him cam 100%. But the pace kind of limits him, so I'll bring him down to centre mid or CDM. That's just my opinion, though. Let me know in the comment section your opinion. Obviously, I'm open to listen to that. Centre mid as well. He's medium, medium, which is exactly what you want from a centre mid. He's going to be going forward as much as he's coming back very very balanced centre mid it's so important to have a centre mid like that in your squad and he's going to have that so again that's going to make it even better for this card uh, he is right footed and 4 star weak foot 3 star skill move so of course you're not have skills which is a little bit of a letdown but obviously the weak foot very very important very good on the card as well but into the actual card itself Taking a look at how much it will cost to go ahead and complete, we will see now. So you need two 83 rated squads and an 84 rated squad. I'm pretty sure 83 rated squads usually cost you about 35 to 40k. They're very, very cheap. So let's say they do cost you 35k each. Let's say that's 70k. And then we've got an 84 rated squad, which usually costs you about... 70k as well, so it's looking like an extremely cheap SBC. It's looking like 130, 140,000 coin SBC. Which, in my opinion, is very, very good for this card. 100% worth it, in my opinion. Obviously, you're going to have to start it off here with the Ajax squad. Um, not an Ajax squad, sorry. You're going to need one Ajax player. It's 83 rated overall. Obviously, Ajax is in the Dutch League, so you're going to look for the Dutch League um, if I can find it. Um, Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. There we go. Uh, so, literally, any player from Ajax that you do have. I do have a few, I think. I've only got... De Jong from Ajax, that is the player that I did pack of course, so we'll have to look for someone else, obviously I've gone the wrong way here, uh, Ajax, there we go, uh, so we're going to look for an Ajax player obviously, and you're going to want someone that's not too high rated, not too low rated obviously, just someone in the middle, so let's say for example this ZH card, uh, or even Daily Blind, it doesn't really matter that much, let's just say we use ZH82, uh, well, you'd have to buy him off the market and he will be a bit more expensive than usual simply because the majority of the IX team are in packs for team of the season so they've all risen in price because they're not actually in packs they're normal cards um but then, yeah, just link a striker and a right mid to him and build a squad from there. Just an 83 rated squad. Very, very cheap. Very easy to complete. You're going to get a rare Electrum pack in return, which I'm pretty sure is a 20k pack. So, again, that's very, very good. Very cheap SBC there. And then we've got this one here. You are going to need one error to visa player. It literally doesn't matter who. Again, literally anyone that you have. So let's say I was to go ahead and use this 76 rated card. It's only an 83 rated squad. Isn't smart that I use a 76. Obviously, it probably is better if you go ahead on the market and pick up like a Hervin Lozano. Just an 80 rated card. Actually, I think he did get an upgrade to 82. Yeah, so if you did just pick up this 82 rated card, it's only about a 1,000 coins. And then you can link him into Mexican players like Chicharito. Build the squad from there. 83 rated overall. Again, extremely cheap to complete. Very, very good SPC in my opinion. Probably about 30, 40k to complete this one. You're going to get a mega pack. So a 30, a 20k pack plus a 35k pack. That's 55k plus a 45k pack for this one. That's about 100,000 coins in return from packs for completing like 130,000 coin SPC. 
So is it worth it? In my opinion, 100% it's worth it. You may not get anything in return in the packs. If you do, it's just a bonus. And let's say you get someone. Let's say you do get like a team of season in a pack, then literally you're doing the SBC for free. So is it worth it? In my opinion, 100%, 200% this SBC is worth it. Definitely go ahead, drop a comment down below if you are going to complete the SBC. If you have completed it, how much did it cost you to complete? Did you get lucky in the packs in return? But yeah, make sure you do follow me on Instagram. It is McCartneyYT. Follow me on Twitter as well, McCartney underscore Ben. But I really hope you have enjoyed the video on Donny van der Beek. Let me know if you have enjoyed it. Drop a like if you have i appreciate all support on the channel recently in my opinion it's a great sbc and in my opinion also it's definitely worth it very very cheap for a very good card but let me know what you think like i said and if you did enjoy drop a like but that has been this that has been that on team of the season sbc donny van der beek i really hope you enjoyed and peace out